really proud to be starting this new series this morning, an early beautiful memory in which we will focus on the remarkable Stephen Wiltshire. From an early age, he's been drawing buildings and landscapes in stunning detail after a mere glimpse. Now, after creating broad panoramas of the world's most iconic cities, we've invited him here to New York to paint his largest work yet. CBS News correspondent Mark Phillips reports. The really lucky tourists who come to New York City get to see it from a helicopter. And there's no denying the view from up here can make an impression. But few are likely to retain that impression as well as Stephen Wiltshire does. We're thinking about of, um, the Empire State, Chrysler Building, Midtown, Manhattan, Skylines, rest of the details. The details are what Stephen sees. Where the buildings are, their shapes, the exact number of windows and stories, the architectural flourishes. And these details stick in his mind. Boy, do they stick in his mind. Because after just a brief tour, Stephen can recreate his cityscapes, draw entire urban landscapes from memory. He's done it all over the world, from Tokyo to Rome, Hong Kong to Madrid to London. Stephen has performed this amazing trick eight times. You just see it in your mind? I see it in my head to get to it everything in my, my brain, how it looks. From a very brief yeah. look. Very brief look. Now for his finale, he says he's come to New York. Stephen Wiltshire was just three years old, a withdrawn child who did not speak when he was diagnosed as severely autistic. But in his special needs school, he started showing a special talent. He had a photographic memory for buildings and he could reproduce them from memory. His class went to London's ornate Albert Hall. Stephen returned and drew it. From a picture or uh, to from, a From memory, and then I draw it from the memory. Do it about a few times. And it came out exactly as it is. Yeah. Yeah, the, how it looks like. Stephen was already becoming a prodigy. The autistic child, who was also an artistic genius, when, in 1988, CBS News accompanied him and his teacher to Paris. Mm -hmm. He was 14 at the time and pleased with his work. How much? How What's much? your price? Uh, One million francs. One million. One million. One million. <laughs> <laughs> the picture now hangs in Stephen's London gallery, priced at about $80,000, not far from his original estimate. Now 35 years old, Stephen's fascination with buildings had only one place to go. This is Stephen's fourth trip to New York. Gotham's towers and its avenues, which he sees filled with yellow cabs and 70s and 80s cars, have drawn him before. Lots of energy, bright lights. You know, it's, it's um, exciting. This is the panorama Stephen Wiltshire has been waiting to do all his life. I think it may be holding for the best uh, we lost. So you've been waiting to do New York? Yeah. Practicing on all the other yeah. cities. For The Early Show, I'm Mark Phillips.